YouTube. This is crazy cool in New Yorker coming at you today. Oh, it's nice outside. It's uh, about mm, 50 degrees. So, you know, I'm bundled up. Let's see here. I pulled over just to fix my liner under my helmet. It was a little, uh, it was pinching me. So I had to pull over and fix it. Whew. So, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. Had a good work week. Lots of training. Oh man, my body is getting beat up. We're learning all new sorts of stuff in class. This is training and then uh, new equipment. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, heavy equipment. I'm like, okay, here we go. More stuff to do. I rolled my ankle, somebody fell on me, <laughs> you know, simple just walking down the stairs and they lost their footing and they used me to stop, I wasn't prepared for it, I rolled my ankle, I said, great, you know, that sucks, <laughs> but what are you going to do, you know, you just, you just roll with it, so my ankle was swollen, I, I iced it down, um, they wanted to take me to the doctor, but I was like, I'm fine, don't worry about it. So for the past couple of days, I've been icing it down, which kept me off the bike. You know, I got on the bike and then went to work the next day and then bang, rolled my ankle. So I was off the bike. So this is the first time I'm on my bike again in a while. Uh, I'm just trying to get myself a footed. I literally like soaked my whole body in some Epsom salt. And then uh, the night before, and then this morning, I woke up about 5 o'clock. I don't know why. I just wasn't sleepy. And then I soaked some more. Stayed in there for about an hour. And then I got up and the legs feels a little bit better. It's still a little swollen. But, um, you know, it is what it is. You just got to keep moving forward. But the, the, the topic that I wanted to uh, discuss today is bullying at work. Now, the reason why I say this is that we have this guy on the job. And he, it's like he looks for people to bother and we have this one guy, I feel sorry for him too. You know, he's always asking questions. And, uh, but I guess just because he doesn't uh, get everything quickly, so he asks a lot of questions, which I don't mind. If you don't understand something, you know, you gotta ask a question. Only stupid people don't ask questions. Ask questions so you'll know what to do. That's what I always say. So, he asked a question, and now he, he asked the instructor the questions. See, like he didn't ask this guy. You know, I never saw the guy before. We all just kind of came together, you know, and uh, uh, what's we call it? I never, we don't work in the same company. And uh, he just attacked him. I was like, damn, like, why are you being so mean to the guy? He didn't do nothing to you except ask this instructor a question. And he was just like, you always got to ask questions. What the heck is wrong with you? And, all this other stuff, I'm tired, I just want to get out of here. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning. We're like, dude, we just got here. <laughs> How are you going to want to leave so soon? We, we just got here. And we told the kid, like, you know, like, uh, no, he's not the kid, but he told him, like, pay attention in class and stuff. And I was like, dang. I told the guy, I was like, yo, you need to speak up for yourself because he didn't say anything. You can see he's not a confrontational guy, but because he doesn't, speak up for himself this guy always picks on him you know if, if uh, you get up to go to the bathroom it goes more than once he's just like oh he's got a woman bladder I was like dang man come on leave the guy alone you know, I tried to tell him to stand up for himself but he, he just told me he you know he don't want no problems or something like that I just said you don't gotta fight the dude curse him out you know if he if, if you if, I like that you're taking a high road but he's He's getting really disrespectful. I mean, you walk through the door and he's he's like uh, making sounds as he walks through the door. And then uh, like one time the guy was uh, he came in a little bit late. Class started, you know, and uh, he walked in about what was it like eight ten? You know, it's not like we are in school and we have to be there at exactly eight o'clock. But the teacher said, please just be here by eight o'clock so we can you know it's quicker for us to uh, instruct us. I said, teacher. <laughs> 
uh, it's quicker for him to get us to, you know, going and stuff like that. And he walked in about 10 minutes late. Now, we're grown men. You know, the, the, the instructor didn't say anything. And uh, the, the dude pulled out a pad. It was, <coughs> ooh, excuse me, I'm sorry. The dude pulled out a pad and said, hey, you must have dropped this. This is why you late. I was like, ah, oh, man, we all look. Some guys chuckled, you know. I was just like, dude, you got to say something to this dude, to this guy. Take that pad and slap him across his mouth with it or something. You know, or you should have said like, you know, like, well, thanks, you can spare one. <laughs> you know, I don't know, but I just felt bad. Like, do you have people at your job that just seem to, that's never happy? And they blame everybody else for their problems and they turn into, it's like almost like a bullying effect. They're always picking on um, other people at the job. Or you have a manager, that's even worse. When the manager is a bully. I know when I was in corporate America, uh, there were a couple of managers that really talked down to their team. I mean, it's like, you're not supposed to talk down to them. You're their manager, you, you know, you're not their parent. You know, they, they, cursing at these people, calling them liars and all this other stuff. I said, you didn't even uh, see what happened and you just made your judgment. That's nice. Nice little river. Lakefront. I tell you, if I lived on a lake, boy, I'd be out here every day. I would. And, um, I was just, I, I was shocked, you know. I, I've seen it on my job, and my old job, and I, I just, like, you know, we're managers. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to treat people and put people down. You're not supposed to do that. So do you guys, like, you know, have people in your job? We all work in them. And uh, we don't all work by ourselves. I know we, some of us may be lucky enough to own their own business, so they don't have to answer to nobody. Uh, but if you work with people, if you don't own your own business, you got that character that just seems like he, he thinks he's God over everybody else. He's like everybody else is beneath him. And, uh, and then he, he throws it in your face, you know. Like, we got this one guy in the job where I work. It, he feels because he drives a, a big, nice truck, everybody else is just, like, peons and stuff. You know, I, I drive a Volkswagen. He thinks that's, like, you know, a girl car. I was like, well, I'm not about driving a Volkswagen Beetle. And that's not a girl's car, but I said, dude, it's a Volkswagen. I bought it because it's good on gas. It's a great car. But I bought it because it's good on gas. What the heck? I didn't, I didn't realize there was such a thing as a girl car. <laughs> so, we, one of our guys in the, on the job, though, he bought a Mini. We was like, hmm, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I couldn't help him on that. I was, even I was like, you bought a Mini? <laughs> it's your wife's car, right? He was like, nah, this is mine. It's great on gas. I was like, hmm, okay. <laughs> I had to left that Mini on the showroom floor. <laughs> But they're good cars. I think they're made by BMW. So they're good cars. Great handling. But just a little too small for me. So do you guys got that one guy or even one girl, you never know, that just bullies everybody, thinks he's better than everybody, and tries to control everything. You know, how do you act? What do you do with them? I just feel bad for this guy doing the training because he's just being, he's just being hammered. You know, this, this guy is really like, on them, and I, you, know, you have to stand up for yourself sometimes. I understand you don't want to, you know, be, uh, be, uh, you know, part of that negative energy, but you got to stand up for yourself. So, but that's it. As you can see, I'm riding in the nice little valley. I've taken this way before. I've shown you guys this, but now the leaves are changing, so it's opened up. Look at this view. Let me slow down a little. Let me drop it down to fourth gear. There's nobody behind me. Look at that. This is what I see. Look at the houses over there. Man, I'm so mad. I, I, I should mount the camera on the other side. Got a nice farm down there with some land. Once I circle around, you'll get to see this. You've seen this when it was lush and green, but you didn't see it with the changing of the seasons. And this is just beautiful. I would love to live over here. I would. My wife said it's too isolated. It is kind of isolated, but I like it. But then she likes it for the baby. You know why? Because then she knows uh, he'll probably have a better schooling system. Where, where we are is a good schooling system. But I just like it. And I said, babe, you know, we move over here. 
I can have all the toys I want. <laughs> and nobody to bother us. You know. Try to find some type of compromise. It doesn't always work. Where we are, she said, is isolated enough. <laughs> I just like it. Look at that beautiful house up on the uh, hill over there. See, I would love that too. Up on a tall hill, you're the only one up there, and then you just drive down. Crazy in the summer, winter time though. Snake down and come all the way down. But that's nice. I guess he would veer, veer off to the right, and then his driveway is off to the left hand side. Well, that's it. I, I think I'm going to cut off now. You guys are always been such a pleasure to uh, vlog for us. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. I like to keep it short. Sometimes I get a little talkative, I know. But today I'm going to keep it short. So as always, this is Crazy Cool New Yorker signing off. And as always, ride with your love and love with your ride. Thank you.